Today, I'll be discussing Cetra's handheld particle counter and showing you how to operate this device. First, I'll mention the two probes that you see at the top. The black probe is where we pick up our temperature and humidity reading, where the silver probe is where we pull in our particles to be counted. This device has a built-in vacuum that pulls at a 0.1 CFM flow rate. I'll also mention that if you don't need the temperature and humidity sensor, it doesn't come standard, it's just an available configuration. Now I'll show you some of the screens that you'll use when operating this device. First, on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see the various particle count sizes that we'll be measuring. Next to that, you'll see two columns currently populated by zeros. This will fill with the particle counts once we begin taking the sample. On the right-hand side of the screen, you can see both the location and the sample rate that we'll be using. You can also see that pencil, which will allow you to add notes to any sample that we take. On the bottom part of the screen, you can see the green man, which will allow you to begin taking the sample. Next to that, the graph will allow you to view the data in different forms, either as a cumulative count, broken down by channel, or as a graph. Next to that, you can see the historical data. I'll go into that screen now. So you can see viewing the historical data, it's broken down again on the left-hand side by the particle count sizes. Next to that, you can see the information surrounding the number of particles first in that channel and then the cumulative particle count. So um, that first channel next to the 0.3, that 433 million is the total number of particles that we see that fall between the 0.3 and the 0.5 micron size. Next to that, that 508 million is a total number of particles we see that are larger than 0.3. So it's a cumulative um, of all the channels larger than it. On the right hand side of the screen, we can see more information about that sample, such as when it was taken, the location, the sample rate, the volume of the space, as well as the temperature and humidity readings at the time. If we wanna add any notes here, we can. We can also export the data by uh, selecting that box underneath the pencil. In this screen, there would be an export button um, if we had a USB connected to the side, which currently I do not have. Now I'll go into the settings menu. So first I'll go into set sampling setup. So here we can input the information about the sample, such as how long we'll be taking the sample for and the size of the room. Or we can use recipe, recipes, which will allow you to uh, replicate the sample to various locations so that every time you take a sample at a location, you'll be doing it at the exact same sample rate. So I'll go now to locations and recipes. So here you can see all the locations that you can take samples at. Um, you can edit the names to so that it's more customizable and you know exactly where you're taking the, the reading at. Um, and then on the right hand side, you can see the recipes. Um, which is really just the settings for the sample rate. So I'll go into a recipe. You can select what locations you want that particular sample rate to uh, you be used on. Um, and then you can go into the settings and select um, how long you want the sample to go on for, as well as what the size of the room is. Next, I'll show you the channel management which will allow you to change the various bucket sizes. So the smallest particle that this particle counter can measure is 0.3 microns, and that particle size bucket never changes, but it can measure up to 25 microns. So you can set the other six, the other five channels, I should say, uh, to be whatever particle sizes you'd like, so that when you break it down on that screen, you can see it, whatever particles fall into each channel. So for instance, if we want to change that one to the 1.5, you could do that. So I'll begin taking a sample now so you can see what it looks like once it's run, when it's running. So right now it's ramping up and now it's beginning to, to take the data and you can see those particle counts beginning to accumulate. So again, the left column is the particles that fall into, the, fall into that bucket where the right column is the cumulative particle count of, our, of all particles that size or larger. We can also view the data um, in this channel screen, which will allow you to 
um, use this for real-time leak detection. So you can adjust the gain to try to pinpoint leaks uh, in a particular area is one function that this particle counter has. And you can also view the data in a chart and see if there are any spikes in particle counts as well. I'll go back to the main screen so we can see the data accumulate and you can see the sample counting down with about 10 seconds left. So there we have it, all the particle counts for that sample. If we wanted to add any notes, we could just select that pencil button on the right hand side, any notes, add any notes that we'd like. Um, and then we can move on to the next location and take our next sample. And say the next location had a larger volume, we need, need to have a larger sample rate. Um, we would have that already programmed in through that, sam through, through that location and recipes menu that I showed earlier in this video. So it's very intuitive, very simple to set up. Um, and once you have it set up, it's just go to that location, press run, get the particle count. Um, and then you can view that data versus the historical data of it um, when you go into the logs. And then you can also export all that data. If you have any other questions regarding this device, please let me know. I'll be happy to help any way I can. Um, and we look forward to working with you on, on any projects you have upcoming. Thanks.